this year that was in the Bahamas to Tennessee. K-State coming off a league loss at TCU. They turned it over 20 times their last time out. K-State wins the tip, and the Wildcats control. And this is Marquise Noel. He's the guy to watch. Great matchup of the little guys tonight. Dewan Harris and Marquise Noel. Deontay Johnson, and they get a foul inside immediately. And that'll be on K.J. Adams. And Deontay Johnson, one of the great stories in college basketball. A little more than two years removed from that medical emergency at Florida. He is back and playing at a All-American level, John. Camp Carter handling here. Carter inside, left hand would go. And McCuller collects the rebound. Jayhawks in the blue. The Wildcats in white. Harris, Dick, McCuller, Wilson, and Adams. That fives them to start at every game but one. Wilson off the catch. And can't knock it down. Tomlin the rebound. Oh. Noel is second in the country, Fran, in assists. He gets everybody involved. Oh, he's the shortest player in Division One, and that time he turns it over. Harris with the interception. Wilson at the basket. And Johnson rejected it. Smart move by Noel. He almost reached in. Decided not yet. Not time to pick up a foul. Take a look right here. This looks like a layup. Noel backs off. But that gives Keontae Johnson time to time it all up and knock it out of bounds. As soon as the gates open, the student section was full. I mean, the students just flooded in. There's a turnover. And Noel the other way. And that one out of bounds, and it's turned back over out of the hands of Bebe Igiola. A well, chance at a two-on-one two on right there. Igiola starting. They're playing without David Kassan, who was a great piece of the puzzle up front, but he's a couple weeks away. Okay, he's missed now six straight with a right ankle injury. David Kassan, the Virginia Tech transfer. There's a feed for Adams, flips it up and in, and Kansas strikes first. Well, K.J. Adams has been an absolute revelation this year for Bill Self. Ten straight double-figure games. Johnson off the glass. McCuller the rebound. And then they get the foul. And that will be on Keontae Johnson. Kansas had numbers. You know Bill Self's team is so good in transition. They are the fastest team in this league. Everybody knows it. It's always a concern for the opponents. Great thing about their fast break, it doesn't have to be DeWan Harris. They have multiple ball handlers who can get out and push it. Dick with Noel on him. Look at Noel. And a takeaway. Tomlin up ahead. Carter. The scoop wouldn't go. And then finally, Tomlin able to put it home. The kid from Harlem. A little Junior bit of college transfer. Yeah, the pressures bothered Kansas early, John. And how about Noel guarding Dick? Quick release. Grady Dick puts Kansas back in front. Tomlin with the smaller Grady Dick on him. And now it's Carter. Deontay Johnson wandering inside off the window and good retire. What I love about that drive is I was talking to a coach in the league this week and he said it's not the physical defense that's important. You have to be physical on offense. Adams got the step, puts it in. And KJ, as Fran mentioned, 10 straight games in double figures. He began his career. 44 straight games without being in double figures. And there is Keontae Johnson, the Florida transfer. John, he was SEC preseason player of the year two years ago. Think about that, how good that league is and how well he was thought of. Uber talented Keontae Johnson. The color. Brady Dick swings it, and out of the corner, and Harris off the mark. 
Rebound, Jalen Wilson take it away, K-State. Dick trying to take it back, but instead it's knocked out of bounds, Wildcats basketball. This is what we were talking about, John. When you play in the Big 12, you have to be physical on offense. Take a look at Keontae Johnson right there. Just going right through K.J. Adams, a good defender. And we talked about his incredible story, John. It's been a little over two years since he collapsed on the court, playing at the University of Florida. Kansas State has taken a chance on him. He's back playing and playing great. Tomlin with the smaller Jawan Harris on him, and Harris commits the foul. Bill Sell's team unbeaten in the league. We asked Jerome Tang about keys for this one. And he cited emotions, but also turning it over. They turned it over 20 times in a loss this past weekend at TCU. Yeah, because those turnovers lead to Kansas getting out of transition where we've already chronicled that they're deadly. He can shoot it from there. Yeah, he will shoot it from just about anywhere. Noel off the glass and good. The little guy banks it home. Well, he is in Big 12 play. He's been unbelievable, averaging 25 and 9 in a great defensive league. Wilson goes left. Had a shot rejected. Ish Masood. K-State by three. When we come back, we'll break down Marquise Noel. Legit Big 12. Came here last year to play for Bruce Weber and has flourished this year. A kid from right smack in the middle of Harlem. It's interesting to see a K-State team. We're in Manhattan, yes. And so the Wildcats do have a New York City flavor to them. Not just Marquise Noel, but Tyke Green, Naquan Tomlin. I asked Ish Masood when he met Marquise Noel. He said, I've known him since we were 15. Love it. The Little Apple. Harris weaving. And K.J. Adams thought Grady Dick was going to cut to the goal and send it over to Chris Button. Fran and I spent some time with Noel earlier today, and he talked about his work ethic and how he approaches practice outside the games. He goes, I look at training and practice like it's a 9-to-5 job, the strength, the nutrition, everything, going out there, getting up shots after shots after shots, and it's turned him into the player that he is today, Fran. Absolutely. A gym rat. And As he sills into the game, he's their super sub. And now Noel to the corner. Johnson buries another three. His second. What a combination. They've just been together since September, October, but they play like they've been together about five years. Kansas State on an 8-0 run. Good cut. And Grady Dick with that moving skyhook. He couldn't get it to fall. Sills the other way. Gets a piece of the pain and high off the glass. It's good. Kansas calls time. Start for the Wildcats. Remember, John, a year ago in here, the Wildcats led by 16 at the half. So we've got a lot of basketball left. Kansas has won the last seven meetings between these two teams. And 15 of the last 16 Sunflower State showdowns. Little pressure now, fake pressure. Bobby Pettiford has checked into the game, wearing number zero for Kansas. Wilson kicks out. Pettiford almost lost the handle. Shot clock winding down. And a rebound pulled down by Masood. And Bill Self ran a play for Jalen Wilson. Got the look, just couldn't knock it down. Good look, Noel able to find Tomlin. There's the vision. Yep, no question. You come off a ball screen, it's not just your man and the screener. It's where are the other three defenders? And right there. He finds uh, Tomlin at the rim, and Tomlin, another great story. 
did not play high school basketball. Grew up in the shadows of Rucker Park and uh, went to junior college, John. I would say the road less traveled, and he's made himself into a potential NBA prospect. He's a junior college All-American at Chipola in Florida. Cool. It's a cool story. He, he stayed home a lot from school to take care of his brothers and sisters while mom worked, and that set him back academically in high school. K-State by 10. Beat inside, in and out of the hands of Adams. Another turnover, five turnovers on the Jayhawks. Noel got a step, regathered, couldn't put it home. Loose ball, and Kansas comes away with it. Quick hands by Harris, otherwise Noel had one. Adams inside and one. K.J. Adams will go to the line. Love that. K.J. Adams has really come on. Take a look, John. Watch the strength now of K.J. Adams. I was talking to his dad earlier today, and he said, you, you were absolutely right when you said he loved lacrosse. And I said, why? And he said, because he loved the physicality. He loved the passing. He loved the idea that he could use a stick and not get a felony for it. But he has really, really utilized those skills on the basketball court. He has really impacted things for Bill Self. Substitution, Zuby Ejiofor will check in for Kansas. A reminder, Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. A must-have for Big 12 fans. Tonight at 8 o'clock, it's number 7, Texas. Number 12, Iowa State. Tomorrow at 7, number 14, TCU against West Virginia in Morgantown. Sign up today, ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 now. Inside, Masood. Loose ball, out of bounds. And Jamie Lucky says it'll be Kansas State basketball, eight on the shot clock. Noel catching a blow right now. Wildcats have to be organized here. Keontae Johnson to inbound. And five Sills plus one. Hannaford found him, and Desi Sills will go to the line and a chance at a three-point play. Sills snuck in on the backside. And a great find. Watch Sills. He's going to act like he's falling asleep, and then he just beats Pettiford to the rim. Played possum right there, which makes sense when you're from Jonesboro, Arkansas, by the way. A lot of possum hunting. Uh-huh. Sills knocks it down. This is a K-State team that is excellent from the line. 74% as a team, and that's tops in the conference. The lead back to 10, Harris to the corner, Grady Dick, ball fake, jumper. <laughs> Tom Lude with edge of four on him. And now Johnson inside, and Grady Dick rebounds, and here come the Jayhawks, McCuller. Wilson. That is shot blocked by Tomlin, but it's collected by Harris. Good pass. Wilson will try and hit. A three-pointer for Jalen Wilson. He got off to a fast start prior to conference play. He was averaging over 21 points per game in Big 12 play, Fran, averaging about 16 and a half on 35%. Well, it's changed. I think part of it is because of the balance of the scoring. I mean, nobody expected KJ to go seven straight. 10 straight and double figures. I think it's good for Kansas. Tomlin pulls up and kicks out. Sills from deep. Wow. They are not afraid of the moment. This is a terrific start for the Wildcats. Take away another turnover. And that's six on the Jayhawks. That's a mismatch there. If he can get Zuby in, in space, they're trying to get Keontae in space with the big guy. Johnson inside, and it goes. Timeout, Kansas. 
Deontay Johnson doing a little bit of everything. The perspective that changed when he woke up, the new outlook on life. His mother narrated a video that they played for him during that time, not a dry eye in the building. He also has a tattoo booth that says, write your own story. An incredible story that's brought in Manhattan. Well, he's trying to write a story that leads with a K-State upset. He's got 10 as Kansas chips away, and now it's a 10-point K-State lead. Bill Self is good for three to five baskets every single game, and that was a good example right there. That one rolled home by Naquan Tomlin. There might not be a better athlete in the league than this kid, Tomlin. There's some great ones. Wilson will try a three. Yep. Got it. I'm going to tell you, this kid could go 0 for 10. It doesn't matter. He told Bill Self this summer, I want to be this year's Ojai Abaji. He will never shy away from a big shot this season. Ejiola to the corner, pass deflected partially. And Carter knocks it down. K-State 5 for 5 from 3. And you've got to answer those Kansas runs, and that was a huge basket. Sills takes it away. And Sills puts it in. As he Sills off the bench with 10, they lead by 14. The athleticism on the defensive end, I think, has taken Kansas, at least early, by surprise. Too sloppy. Harris will try. Had a good look at it. And a rebound and put back Jalen Wilson with the deuce. He's got eight. Well, and among the other things he does well, he is an outstanding rebounder. Oh, good hands. Noel lost the handle. Grady Dick. And then they get a foul in the backcourt. Just watch the activity, John. You know, we talked with Bill Self today about quick hands. And we were talking about Kansas players. But Desi Sills right there, same type of situation. The activity of your hand, hands on defense, is really important in this league. Joseph Yesifu, the Drake transfer, has checked in. This is not an especially big Kansas team. And Harris trying to find Jalen Wilson. Ends up turning it over. And that bodes well for K-State because you remember on Saturday, they got bullied by TCU, Eddie Lampkin, Xavier Cork, and, uh, and company. A much better matchup for the Wildcats in this one, size-wise. Two turnovers for the Wildcats thus far. And Johnson bullying his way into the paint and they get the foul that's on Jalen Wilson let's watch John this is a league of we said it physicality it's not just defense watch here Johnson's just gonna pull right through two defenders and make you foul him by the way we'll see some of that from Kansas all night Carter inside hangs and he shoved he'll go to the line Cam Carter the transfer from Mississippi State. All right, Will, Bill Self, what's his biggest bone to pick with his team so far? Turnovers on in the, in the half court. They they have not been good with the ball early. More college basketball coming your way, Super Tuesday tonight. 9 Eastern, it'll be Georgia and Kentucky. So it comes your way next. Carl Ravage, Jimmy Dykes, Marty Smith on the call. Right now, if you're Kansas, there's a lot of basketball left. You have to weather the storm, but you also have to be, you know, you just have to be better with the basketball. Too many sloppy plays early. Pick and roll, watch the lob here. Harris finds Wilson who gets inside and puts it home. Deontay Johnson 
hit the deck hard. Yeah, but I love this, John. You know, that that that's incidental to me both ways. But again, the physicality on offense, good strong move. Wildcats took away the pick and roll on one side. And uh, John Harris found Jalen on the other. Carter, nice move. And Wilson rebounds it. Yesifu wide open. There was so much coverage of Dick in transition that Yesifu was, there was nobody near him. Carter trying to find Tyke Green. It'll be Kansas State basketball when we return. Nine point advantage for the Wildcats. For the Jayhawks advantage. Yeah, watch at midcourt, Grady Dick, he's already got a defender on him. Ahead of him in the corner is Joseph Yesifu. Nobody gets to him because of the concern for Grady and Yesifu benefits. That's what we call gravity. He pulls defenders toward him and opens up the game for his teammates. Excellent example right there. 7.17 to go here first half. Tyke Green, another of the New York City kids on this Kansas State team. Johnson, shot clock at 11, step back three, and that one falls out of bounds. It will be Kansas basketball. John, I said it earlier, Bill Self is good for three to five baskets every game. Not because of what they do in practice, but the adjustments he makes in the game out of timeouts and just recognizing what the team defensively is doing to them. Let's see what they get right here. Post up. They find Dick. And his shot wouldn't go. And Jamie Lucky calls the foul on Marquise Noel. Noel has been on Grady Dick defensively. That's right. And guess why they ran a post up play for Grady Dick? That's exactly what I'm talking about when I say that Bill Self is good for three to five baskets. He knows that Noel is on him coming out of the timeout. He goes right to him. So they get Noel with the foul, and now Dick at the line. Marquis Noel averaging 25 points per game in Big 12 play. So far in this one, he has just two. It's been Desi Sills off the bench, and Keontae Johnson leading the attack for Jerome Tang. 7-0 Kansas run and the lead is down to seven for K-State. Yes, a food guarding Noel that saves Dewan Harris's energy a little bit guarding Sills Although we know Sills can get it downhill quickly and Kansas switches anyway Sills step back and that'll go. It's a two says Jerry Pollard. Bill Self will live with that. That is a tough shot right there versus a good defender. Desi Sills leads all scores with a dozen. Wilson another. And Johnson rips down the rebound. Under six to go in the first half. Noel the give off and the block by Wilson. It ends up with Yesifu. And they get Keontae Johnson with the foul. That's his second. College basketball coming up on Saturday. Number 17, Miami is at Duke at noon Eastern. That's followed by Texas A&M and Kentucky at two bowl games on ESPN. On the ESPN app. Interesting decision right now. For Jerome Tang, he's going to leave. He's going to leave uh, Keontae Johnson in with two. I think they're going to check to see who the foul is on here. Over here, they're trying to figure out whether it should be a one and one, and whether it is foul number seven. It's not. All right, 
So it's foul number six. Or I should say foul number five on K-State. The foul was on Deontay Johnson. He stays in with two. Yes, a food. And Wilson knocks it down, pumps his fist. He's taken the most shots in Bill Self's 20 years at Kansas. And it's John, he just he's gonna be the go-to guy all season. Noel step back. That's off the mark. And they've got numbers. Dick will kick to Harris. This match inside. And Yesifu misses. Adams was being guarded by Noel. Now Sills inside. And an offensive foul as KJ Adams got in front. And they get the foul on Desi Sills. Yeah, Desi's been very aggressive to the rim, but I think that time KJ, let's see. Two feet on the ground before the defense offensive player leaves his feet. I've told you before, I'd rather the NBA rule the gather. Once you gather, then the defender has to be set. But the rule is two feet on the ground before he leaves his feet. K-State lead is seven. Wilson. Adams with a huge rebound, and they'll set it back up. Yesifu flips it up and in. Well, John, the Jayhawks have weathered the storm. Well, you talked about in our open, Bill Self's team is built for this, and certainly guys like Jalen Wilson, Kevin McCullough coming in here, they were kind of smiling. They wanted to see what's it going to be like. Oh, no, no question. You don't come to Kansas if you don't want to play in these games. Masood buries a three. Good extra pass right there. Making those blue jerseys run a little bit. Five three-pointers for the Wildcats. Adams puts it on the floor. And a foul on the floor on Kansas State. 3.50 to go, first half. And the Wildcats lead the Jayhawks by eight. DS do that. You know, they, they make their adjustments before the game, but there's really nobody better, in my opinion, that uh, that does it better than Bill. And this guy here, Keontae Johnson, he's got two fouls, John. I got to think Jerome Tang will keep him out as long as Kansas State keeps this lead. He has not fouled out of the game this year. He's only had four fouls three times. K.J. Adams at the strike. You know who K.J. Adams reminds me of? Reminds me a little bit of the guy that's in the studio tonight, Alfonso Ellis. <laughs> Fonz would like a game like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back in the old Big East days. Yep. Yep. Banging yeah. with my guy, Billy Curley. Yeah, East St. Louis. Six-point Kansas State advantage. Noel with Yesifu on him. Fans wanted a foul. Noel with Wilson on him. Sills going to work off the side of the backboard, but Noel... That did not hit the rim, and, and so out of bounds. And the clock ran. They're going to have to check the clock because it ran. This, the shot clock kept running when the ball went out of bounds by a second or two. All right, let's see what you got. This is special situations right here. Bob! Inside, they targeted Tomlin. Shot clock winding down. Did he get it off? Nope. Oh, I thought he did, actually. I, I thought he did, but they were to be being told he wasn't. But what I liked about it is he looked at the clock the whole way. He just didn't shoot it in time. Right. You know, they had the lob at the basket. He just didn't catch it, uh, Tomlin. But a good play. Yeah, you like the awareness. Put that in your playbook, coaches at home. Harris lob. Adams. Look at that catch. And one. What a catch. Well, last week... We were in Lawrence. We talked to Porter Moser. He said KJ Adams used to be just an energizer bunny. Now he's a guy that does a little bit of everything. Well, here's what the coaches told us today. Bill Self told him early in the year, you've got the easiest job on the team. 
because you're starting with four really, really good players. And all we need you to do is what you do well. Rebound, catch lobs, run the court, block shots. And the interesting thing about that, John, is his confidence grew in those areas. He's become an offensive weapon away from the basket. Missed the free throw, but he's got 11 in double figures now. 11 straight games. He had not been in double figures in his previous 44 career games. He averaged one point a game last season. One point. Joblin cleared out with that right arm. And Grady Dick pulls down the rebound. He's a good rebounder. Yes, he is. And like, as we mentioned, anybody who rebounds it can run for Kansas. Dick's jumper wouldn't go. Noel. Marquise Noel's been quiet, friend. Just two points. Tomlin off the mark. Dick the rebound. Well, without Keontae Johnson, nobody attacking the basket right now. He's going to sit with two. And Kansas, as we said, has weathered the storm. Yes, Apu gets it to Adams, who puts it in. Two more for K.J. Adams. Now, what teams have done to Kansas this year to slow them down a little is go under all ball screens, except with Dick. And right now, that's not, they're not doing that, K-State, and they're getting carved up by the ball screen. Yeah, they just got a foul on Yesifu. His second team foul number seven, so it'll be one and one. Bill Self's team trailed by as many as 14, 33-19, with 8.17 to go in the first half. And now within two, Kevin McCuller will check back in, and Yesifu will grab a seat. You think about how poorly they played the first six, seven minutes turning the ball over. And some teams would just get rattled and get blown out. They've been methodical in the way they've come back and carved into this league. To that point, Fran, Bill Self during that last time out telling his team there is no way that K-State can continue to shoot at the percentage that they were shooting. The ball was 80% from three-point. But it's your discipline that you need to correct. We're allowing way too many mistakes. Go make their own. Don't you allow them to do it for you. K-State five of eight now from three. But, yeah, Bill Self wants the process to be better. It makes them hard to guard now as they have five scorers on the floor. Look at this. Adams yep. again and two more for K.J. Adams. He has 15. Well, he's so good at screening and getting out of the ball screen quickly. And, John, because he's such a good athlete with hands, they're really comfortable when he has the ball in that high paint area. Big-time lacrosse player in high school. Sills Tough. way downtown. Tough shot. Gets his miss. And then tries to scoop it up. And they get the foul. Watch this, John. We call this a short roll because KJ recognizes that he doesn't have time to get to all the way to the basket. Watch him open up right now. That allows him then to become a playmaker. We know he can score. The other thing he does so well is pass it out of that short roll. That last foul on Adams, his second. Zach Clements checking in. Probably for the final 107. As Adams grabs the seat, 15 points and a couple of fouls. Sills bags them both and the lead back to four. How about Desi Sills, 14 first half points. Yep. In this league, I would say he is a front runner for sixth man of the year along with Jabari Rice of Texas. Those two guys really stand out to me off the bench. Clements getting harassed by Sills. And now back to Harris. Adams has scored the last eight Kansas points. McCuller had it knocked away. Shot clock winding down. And an offensive rebound as Wilson gathers it in. 
Wilson from D. And they get the foul on McCuller as Tyke Green went down to the floor. And I think Jamie Wilkie would have let that go had Green not gone down. He had to call the foul. Just a, in the wrong place at the wrong time by McCullough, but a great effort. What this will do, John, is it'll give Kansas the final shot of the half. Take a look right now. That Jamie Lucky, good officiating right here. He would have let this go until those feet tangled up and he had to call the foul. And Green coming off his season high earlier this week. 11 at TCU. They did that in 11 minutes. A miss. Tomlin the rebound. His shot wouldn't go. Clements able to save it to McCuller. And the Jayhawks up ahead. Brady Dick weaving and he's fouled. And he'll go to the line. Well, first of all, Naquan Tomlin should have got it out and got the last shot. And given the Wildcats a chance to be up six or seven. He shoots it quickly. Brady Dick recognizes the open court. Now he's going to shoot a pair. And the likelihood he's not missing these. Brady Dick who grew up a Kansas fan. He put it on him, Brandy. You know, you know me. The whammy. I'm just so used to it being me that does it. Yeah, you know? I don't care about I that. Do not care. Brady Dick with six points. Make it seven. All right, Johnson back with two. Clock. Yeah, they're having some issues with the clock. Jamie Lucky over for a visit. Interesting, John. Let's see. He's combining for 24 points. And meanwhile, Adams and Wilson for the Jayhawks combining for 27. One of the things the Wildcats like to do at the end of a shot clock is high pick and roll with three on the baseline. If they were to do that, you'd like to get edge of four in the ball screen defensively and take away. We've got another clock issue. Officials are not happy. Jerry Pollard over. Will the third time be the charm? And the clock is moving. Noel. Johnson going to work on Wilson. Step back, got it. McCuller the heave. And the first half comes to a close. K-State leading this one by five. Deontay Johnson. You know, one of the problems in that first half for Kansas was the turnovers. However, eight first half turnovers. Their final turnover came at the 838 mark while trailing 31-19. So getting back into it, Fran, coincided with taking care of the basketball. Yeah, because they're going to get great shots because of their offense. And they have a lot of guys out here to score. There's the downhill drive. McCuller, oh. that was halfway down for Harris. But a perfect example of setting up a great look off of a drive. And that ball was in and out. Good play. Just didn't happen for him. Tomlin give off Johnson with a dozen in the first half. Feel like the momentum is not necessarily swung, but Kansas has kind of tempered this crowd, that crazy crowd. Shot clock winding down. Egiola a little too strong. Wilson tried to one hand the rebound, but Color takes it away. Egiola's got to make those. Brady Dick not able to hit. That's where Gasson is missed. He'll be back soon. Who could? Finish at the rim like that. So he's not finishing in here. It's going to be tough for him. Bebe Igiola a little short, and they get the foul. <laughs> foul beyond Adams. That is his third. Bill Self going to do anything with that? He's going to find out right now. I don't think he is. Yep. It's okay. 
So Bebe Igiola at the line. A Miami Igiola who transferred from Hofstra. And he's been a very reliable free throw shooter this year, over 80%. 73 in his career combined between here and Hofstra. Missed them both. Both teams with opportunities early, and the rims have uh, not been, been, been kind. Harris. And yeah, that shot wouldn't go. Fran, what does K-State do to get Noel a little bit more involved scoring-wise? I don't think he has to score, John. As a, he has to create for his teammates with downhill drives, and his scoring will open up. And there is Tomlin, super talented player. The Juco transfer knocks down that shot. The lead is seven. The guy I wanted to see the Wildcats get the ball to is Keontae Johnson because he's been unguardable when he's been out there. Harris finds Adams. Johnson was on him. Now McCuller. Wow, I missed everything by a lot. Good ball movement right there, but Kansas State will live with anybody but Grady Dick shooting threes. Oklahoma did it. There's the range. Noel can't hit. Wilson pulls it down. You know, Harvard started that, John, before Christmas. Kansas went four for 20 from behind the arc, and Grady Dick, that should be a charge. And it is. Yep. Offensive foul on Kansas's Kevin McCuller, his second. Now again, Kansas trying to get downhill, but watch the defense. McCuller runs him over. And again, I got to say this every game. You're allowed to be moving as long as you established legally first. No argument from self. Tomlin turns the corner, lost the handle, out of bounds, a turnover. KU's gotten good looks early. The ball has not dropped. Jerome Tang was worried about managing emotions and about turnovers. Did a pretty good job in both departments. Only six turnovers so far tonight. What Adams to the corner and Harris. Wide open look and the rebound. From Wilson, who finds McCuller. He had a good look at it. Well, they're, they're good looks, but they're bricks right now. Whoa. And wow. Tomlin not able to save as Noel thought he had a target. And I think it was Bebe Igiola initially that he was trying to find. Well, he was out of control, Noel. He jumped in the air at midcourt. And a wasted possession that keeps Kansas alive. We told you this early. They are going under screens, and they're giving everybody the three but Grady Dick. And usually when that happens, Bill Self will start to drive it downhill. And Grady Dick buries a three-pointer. It's a four-point game. It's one guy you do not leave open. I'm not a genius at this, but I know enough to know that a guy that shoots nearly 50% is, is going to murder you with that shot. Good hands, McCuller. Well, the scoop wouldn't go. They get the foul on Keontae Johnson. And that's his third. Listen, you're not going to agree with this call. But again, Jamie Lucky, I think he would have let this go. There's a bump there that you can't see. And I think he was going to let it go if McCullough made it. Take a look. See a little oh. bit of hand action or, or ball. Johnson still I, letting the officials know McCuller by the way has not scored in this game and he still Hasn't scored the Texas Tech transfer who does a little bit of everything he averages 11 points a game Seven rebounds and two assists plus about three steals a game Johnson's gonna stay in with three and as I look back on it, I think it was a little ticky tack Nickel Dimer. Nickel Dimer. Wow. And McCuller missed them both. 
Wildcats are squandering some opportunities to stretch this lead and keep KU in the game. KU responding in kind with missed free throws and threes. Noel kick out Masood. Big three is Noel able to find Ish Masood, the transfer from Wake Forest. That's what he does. He stretches the floor. Oh, nice. Dick lost the handle. Sills takes it away. And Sills puts it in. with the back cut past deflected Kansas ball when we return the octagon of doom K-State up by nine here when Kansas State was in search of a new athletic director Norquise Noel took things in his own hands and he texted athletic director Gene Taylor and he told him specifically we want Jerome Tay his brother had watched him at Baylor, saw the loyalty to Scott Drew for 19 years, how no one had ever said a bad word about him. And he said, this is our guy, and here he is. And well, Chris, he's done great, great work. Yes, he has. And we talked to Gene Taylor earlier today, Chris. McCullough able to save, gets it to Dick. Watch out. Oh, that's from deep. Too deep. And out of bounds. Kansas basketball. There you see Gene Taylor. There's the text from Marquise Noel. And I asked Gene Taylor, the athletic director today, when did you know you were going to hire Jerome Tang? And he said, we interviewed him in Kansas City at the Big 12 tournament. Five minutes after he walked out of the room, we knew we had our guy. We need Jerome Tang. Yep. Wilson inside. McCullough trying to save it. He does. Wilson puts it in. And the foul. And that's what we mean by physicality right there. Wilson on the first attempt couldn't get all the way to the rim. We know he's a quick second jumper. He comes back with the second attempt and he's finishing this. Take a look now. Watch him put his head down and try to draw contact. No call. It comes back to him, and he's going to finish at the rim this time with a chance to make it three. He can't complete the three-point play, and it's K-State by five. Sills, they've had trouble containing Desi Sills. Now because of that nickel-dimer foul on Keontae Johnson, he's sitting with three right now. Noel kicks it out for Tomlin. And in close, Tyke Green gets fouled. He'll go to the line and he'll shoot two. And they get McCullough with the foul. That's his third. Uh, Tyke Green, he's six foot four. But remember, coming from Stony Brook, he had 14 double doubles in his career. And they weren't the assist points doubles, they were rebound doubles. Yeah, Burley Guard, another of their New York City kids. A reminder, NBA coming your way, a Wednesday doubleheader. Trey Young and the Hawks in Dallas to play Luka and the Mavs. That's at 7.30 Eastern. And then it's the Wolves and the Nuggets at 10 o'clock. Coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 7 on ESPN. Marquise Noel, the smallest player in college basketball, guarding Grady Dick right now. Now he's guarding Wilson. Harris looking to find somebody. Yes. He finds Wilson inside and he puts it home. Hey, listen, John. That young man, Dewan Harris, knew at the top of the key there was the switch with the small guy on Wilson, and that was brilliant. You talk about vision, that was textbook. And 
side. Ishiola. Bill Self frustrated with the way they defended that. Yeah, similar vision right there. We told you those two point guards are true point guards. Here's that switch again. And that one will go as Harris knocks it down. One of the things we've seen from Harris this year, shooting a bit more. Now, last game, he was held scoreless. That's his first three points of the night. But he's been more of an impact scorer this season for Kansas than he was all last year. And a foul against the Jayhawks as they get that. Uh, Dewan Harris, that's his second. Well, getting back to Dewan, they told him he had to shoot when he was open, and he has tied the Kansas record set by Wajero Vic for most consecutive threes. He made eight consecutive threes just a couple weeks ago. Tomlin trying to feed. Dick intercepts the pass. Grady Dick. And then inside. And Adams absorbs the contact as they get the foul on Bebe Igiola. That is exactly what Bill Self told KJ Adams early in the year. You have an easy job playing with Grady Dick, Jalen Wilson. All you got to do is run the floor, grab offensive rebounds, and do the things that you can really do well. Adams having another strong game. The, the one guy that they just haven't been able to uh, figure out consistently, Grady Dick. He's got 10 points, but he's 3 of 9 from the floor, and they've really done a good job. The Wildcats harassing him as Adams misses. I'm going to give you a little hint. You ready? In Big 12 play, everybody knows Grady Dick's strengths. Yeah. And so what Bill Self is trying to teach him to do is move without the basketball and not rely on just catching and shooting it. Kansas 0 for 4 from the line in the second half. Jayhawks down 3. Brady Dick tipped it out, but he didn't come through with it. And it's Kansas State basketball. Noel leads them ahead. Wildcats need one of those 6-8-0 runs. Kansas is too close for comfort. Number two, Kansas. Number 13, Kansas State. Johnson's been quiet here in the second half. Steps back a little strong. Grady Dick tips it to himself. Kansas is so good at reaching for loose balls in there. You saw Grady Dick that time throw the timing off of Deontay Johnson. Vision. Dick wide open. Can't hit. I still think Keontae Johnson is your guy because he's got to continue to attack the basket. Grady Dick now one for six from three. Desi Sills, step back, high arcing three! It's back to a six-point game. Season high 19 for Desi Sills. And the foul on Tyke Green of the Wildcats. How good a job has Jerome Tang done in putting this team together? Two scholarship players when he took over. Texas A&M and Kentucky at two both games on ESPN and ESPN app. All right, so a point guard comparison. Both guys getting teammates involved, neither scoring at the level we're used to. Right. Harris, you know, doesn't have to score for Kansas to win. But so far, the Wildcats have this six-point lead, and Marquise Noel has not scored a lot. But 14 assists between them. Harris gets it into McCuller. McCuller lost the handle, out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Jayhawks. 13 on the shot clock, 11-18 to go here in the second half. John Chomby, Fran Fraschilla, Chris Budden from Bramlage Coliseum in Manhattan, Kansas. Big 12 battle with the Little Apple. Good hands there, kick up ahead. 
Johnson will try a three. And a loose ball, McCuller to Harris. Edgefer. And a block. And a foul on Noel, and Harris went down hard. Juan Harris Jr. Slow to get up over as they check on Dewan Harris and obviously it's something we've seen in every sport Any type of head injury there's always gonna be the worry the wary of a concussion This is an opportunity for the sophomore Bobby Pettiford to take control of this team right now He's an excellent downhill driver. He's usually not going to shoot the three but he's got an opportunity now to uh, put a stamp on this game. Kansas State with the ball. The lead is five under 11 to go. Johnson going to work on McCuller. Leads inside. And Wilson rips down the rebound, pushes it up ahead. And then knocked out of bounds. Sills. Knocked it out of the hands of Brady Dick and Dewan Harris Jr. heading to the locker room. Deontay Johnson, by the way, 0 for 3 in this half. So we'll see what Kansas can come up with. The guy who may be their most important player, Dewan Harris, out of the game right now. And Jalen Wilson burrows his way to the basket. He's got 20. Yeah, news flash. He drove downhill right hand. Perfectly set up. Not by accident either. And we know we know Jalen Wilson, no matter what the circumstance, willing to take over any game. Noel, the little New York City point guard. Trying to find some space, and he gets bumped on the floor. And they get McCuller, and that is number four on uh, Kevin McCuller. Watch that drive, and you see Edgeford actually seals the help right there because he was posting up in the lane. Jalen Wilson, outstanding driver. He scores at every level, John. McCuller will sit. He's got four. Yesifu in. So Kansas within three, and due to injury and foul trouble, two of their reserve guards out there in Pettiford and Yasifu. Jerome Tank, first year as head man at Kansas State. Sills to inbound. Now I think Noel's got to get aggressive. No Keontae Johnson. Noel off balance. Yeah, Yesifu pulls it down. I thought that was a foul. I thought the defender rode him out of bounds. No call. Jerome Tang thought so too, but it's been a physical game. Wilson jumper. Got it. That's a two. And he has 22. It's a one-point game, 57-56. It's exactly what I mean when I say that these guys are built for this. K-State has led almost the entire way. Kansas's last lead was at 6-4. Wilson from deep. Jalen Wilson with a game-high 22. A one-point advantage for the Wildcats, under nine to go. And the crowd here at Bramlage has got a little quiet. Sills feed inside and a careless turnover. Watch and out. now Wilson, and he's fouled. I mean, he gets up ahead of steam. He goes 6'8", 225, and he can handle, and he goes right at the basket. Well, they started this last year, John. We all talk about Dewan Harris, and he's back. That was quick. How about that? But Dewan Harris is their point guard, but not necessarily in transition. I think Jalen Wilson is every bit as quick as Dewan Harris in the open court, and they love when he plays that way. 
Wilson ties the game. Dewan Harris checks back in. Jalen Wilson a chance to give Kansas the lead. First lead since the 17-20 mark of the first half when it was 6-4 Jayhawks. Yep, and they've, they've, they battled back from 16 at the half a year ago. They've come back from, from that kind of deficit this season. Again, they're built for these type of situations. Sills with Brady Dick on him. Spinning inside, rejected! Yesifu! Tipped out of bounds and it'll stay with Kansas. Bill Self's team has come all the way back. Trailed by as many as 14. And now the Jay Jayhawks on the road leading by a one. It's a 7-0 run. Every time there's a dead ball, it's like an artist going to work. Because you know Bill Self's got something drawn up. Adams hangs, can't hit, and a foul. Well, Fran, you touched on it. Grady Dick is their top three-point shooter. Harris can knock them down, but when it's not happening from three, they do have guys that will take it aggressively to the basket, and that's what we're seeing them Absolutely. do. Absolutely. They're shooting over 70% inside the arc tonight. They haven't done as good a job on the foul line as Bill Self would like. He understands the flow of the game. And when you're not making jumpers, the best way to score points is at the rim. K.J. Adams with that free throw. It's his first point of the second half. He's got 16 on the game. And the Kansas lead is two. Adams, the kid from Austin, Texas. Unless you get an open three, and they're not a great shooting team, I think you have to fight fire with fire and play downhill to the basket with your most physical player who has the ball right now. Yeah, they get there a block. Go. Yep. That was never going to be a charge in this game. It was inside. Outside in the mid-range and 20 field goals is uh, Even a little high for him averaging 17 on a season and as we pointed out the bill self era only two guys have averaged 20 or more Frank Mason and Wayne Simeon. That's yeah. it and Ochai averaged 20 for a good part of last season And yep. I think the reason Jalen's scoring has gone down is because other guys are starting to get involved they get the foul on the floor, and that is on Grady Dick. I like this because Kansas was driving it and getting the calls, and now the last two possessions, Jerome Tang, you got to fight fire with fire. Officials know what's going on, and so you got to, if you got Keontae Johnson out there, go ahead. He's only got three fouls. Johnson knocks it down. His first point of the second half. Yeah, he has to be the catalyst down the stretch if the Wildcats are to win. Jerome Tang's timeout mainly focused on how they're going to defend Jalen Wilson down this stretch. They want to go with size. So he looked at Aquan Tom and said, can you handle it? He said, I'm up for the task. Here they go right now, Chris. And it's Tomlin chasing Jalen Wilson who gets inside. Shot wouldn't go. Tied at 59, Noel. Got a mismatch. Loose ball, and it ends up with Tomlin, and Naquan Tomlin gathers it in, puts it home, and K-State has the lead again. Oh, boy, too much room. Brady Dick has been ice cold from three, just one for seven. Yeah, but I'm not sure Jerome Tang wanted him to go under the screen, but they got lucky, the Wildcats. Inside, Brady Dick with the block. Wow! 
He absolutely pinned Ejiola. Yesifu not able to hit. K-State with the ball up by two. Yeah, Ejiola's had three point bank opportunities tonight off great passes and plays, and he hasn't been able to finish. Still got to be Keontae Johnson to take over. Now get out of his way. Johnson had it stripped away. We told you about those quick hands from Kansas. Wilson puts it on the floor, and they get the foul. And I believe it's on Marquise Noel. You know what this is, John? In football, neither team has a passing game today. So both teams are going with the ground game. And the ground game for Bill Self, and he does not mind this at all. He's the Woody Hayes of college basketball. He does not mind ground and pound. And it's exactly what the strategy is right now. Wilson leads all scores with 24. One-point game here at Bramlage. And Kansas unbeaten when he scores 20 or more. We'll see if that holds up here tonight. Right now in a battle. 61 apiece, closing in on six to go. John Shambi Fred for Shilla Chris Budden here in the Little Apple, Manhattan, Kansas for the battle in the Big 12. Johnson got a step, tried to reverse it, and they get the foul. If it's on McCuller, he's done. Yep. And it is. Yep. And he's done. That's five. That's who's our guy from the uh, Titans, Derek Hatton. And there we go. And you know what happened last year in Allen Fieldhouse? Kentucky, Kentucky won by smoked 30. Smoked him. Yep. yep. And you could have stopped everybody coming out of that game and said, don't worry because they're going to win the national title. I don't know that a no. ton of people would have believed you that spot. All they've done is win 27 out of their last 28. Only loss to Tennessee. That was down in the Bahamas. K-State, a two-point advantage. Keontae Johnson with 16 for the Wildcats. Wide open. Noel on the move and he pulls it back out. There he goes. Johnson. He won. Yep. He's not Derrick Henry, he's Jim Brown. That's unstoppable in transition with that body. And he's gotten a feel for the second half. I love it. Both coaches have decided to eschew the jump shooting for the most part and put the ball on the deck to the rim. Deontay Johnson with 18, make it 19. And the lead is five. It's a 9-2 run. Jerome Tang has put that size on on Jalen Wilson right here. And they immediately go back the other way, get it right to Wilson. He draws the foul on Tomlin. Did you see the way he used his body? And that's what we talk about. You've got to play through contact, and he has no problem doing that. I mean, he and Johnson, fairly similar in terms of the way they go about doing it. Yeah. Both shoot it pretty well but they're both super physical well they shoot it well enough that you have to play him out on right. the perimeter and then it just opens up you know a, a, a plethora of opportunities to score inside the arc Kansas 5 for 25 from the three point line including 2 for 13 this half well, that's been a certainly a part of the story Jalen Wilson leading all scores he's got 28 it's a three-point game. Now Wilson's on Johnson, so let's see if Johnson can force Jalen Wilson now. Short. Harris comes up with the basketball. Kick up. What and Brady Dick able to put it in. Yep. Great catch. 
Do they run or do they run when they get out in transition? Well, they have so many guys that can push it. And that time it was Harris that got it moving. Yeah, but that time you see how much, a little bit more trouble Johnson had with Wilson right here. Bigger. Got about two inches on him in terms of height. Contested that shot, blocked it. Tomlin and then Grady Dick and they got a foul and Grady Dick a little frustrated now Grady Dick is a supreme athlete take a look let's go back to the other end here they come in transition watch this catch and watch this finish right there and then he does not believe he fouled on the other end Tomlin can't hit. Jerome Tang, after 19 years as the right hand man to Scott Drew, Kansas State off to a 15 and 2 start. We thinking uh, Wilson right here, maybe? intercepted Noel heads up they, they spelled out that drive and drift both coaches orchestrating offense from the sideline set play teams both of them Adams comes to help Johnson spinning those hands are so quick shot clock winding down Noel Tomlin Violation and it's a shot clock violation 329 to go and a great one here in the Big 12 two-point Kansas State lead I Have to post Wilson up and bang with a 6 8 220 guy if I were Jerome Tang I take Keontae away from the basket when the big guys on him post him when the medium-sized guys are on him Somehow there's a good chance Kansas is going to get a good shot here. Under three and a half to go. John Chomby Fran for Shilla Chris Bud. Grady Dick with the basketball. And now Harris. Oh, they tried to sneak the lob in. Got a foul on K State. Well, they ran a play that ends up with a lob. And Grady Dick is the screener, and the good news for Kansas is when his man helps, he's open at the top of the key, and then he's fouled. Kansas just 14 of 23 from the line. This guy, obviously a good free throw shooter, came in shooting 79% from the stripe. Grew up right down the road in Wichita. Sunrise Christian Academy and lifelong Jayhawk. Tied at 67. And Desi Sills handling with Yesifu on him. How about Marquise Noel averaging 25 points in Big 12 play? That's a block. Tomlin, and he lays it in. Himself wanted a charge. It looked like a block. But you got to give the officials credit. They've let a lot of contact go both ways. Naquan Tomlin with the deuce. And it's a two-point advantage. Adams inside, and they get the foul. Watch Naquan Tomlin now. He's got the ISO. You see the attention to Johnson. That should be one or the other, but give, give these guys credit. That's a block, I think. I think but, he's lucky it wasn't a charge with yeah. the way the, the left arm exactly. pushed out like that. But there's been a lot of contact tonight. Oh, this has been a physical yeah, one, no and, doubt. And, and you know what? You can complain about these guys, and there will be. 
Hard game to officiate overall. I think both coaches are pleased. Deontay Johnson was just urging on the student section, telling them, get louder. Well, Desi Sills with 19, John, he's been able to get downhill all night. And again, Johnson guarded by the bigger Wilson. I like this right here out on the court where he can use his quickness right there. There's those hands by Dickey. Brady Dick is unbelievable. Dick inside. It wouldn't fall, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. Brady he, Dick. He's done this all year, John, and Bill Self loves this. Watch. Just swipes at it. They're so good at swiping at drives, and Grady Dick right there with a big steal. Those active hands that we talked to hand, Coach Self about. Remember, hand placement. And again, for Grady Dick, he's one for seven from three, but... He's impacted the game defensively. He still has 16 points, and as well, he has seven rebounds. Jerome Tank's got three timeouts left. And uh, going to save him. Noel. Shot clock under 10. Sills with the bigger Adams on him. Gets yep. him in the air and draws the foul. And Sills will go to the line. And I believe that's number five on KJ Adams. It is. He's done. And that's a nice third option to have. Take a look. A little head fake by Sills. And then he gets KJ Adams reaching in. So with Wilson on Keontae Johnson and Noel bottled up by Harris, Jerome Tang goes to Desi Sills in a smart play. And this is one of those spots as Zach Clements is going to check in, but McCullers fouled out. Now Adams is fouled out. Bill Self has not been playing really more than seven. I mean, Clements gets a little bit of time. Edgefort gets a little bit of time, but it's well, been this, the main seven guys. So there's only 12 teams in the country that have a shorter bench than Kansas, and that's a great point, John. Coming up next, Georgia and Kentucky in the SEC. That is going to begin on ESPN News. And Sills ties it up. So this one has been as advertised. Number 13 against number 2. I know this. I'm impressed with K-State. They are for real. Absolutely. And it's pretty hard to argue against a league being any better than this one. Yep. Oh, it's not. It's not. Trying to get that mismatch. Clements. Clements inside. Lost the handle, Noel. Two on one. Noel left hand. And he spun it home. Then we'll bring you the SEC. Number two, Kansas down by two, 114 to go against number 13, Kansas State. Noel on Grady Dix, 5'8 versus 6'8. He's had him for a lot of the game. There it is. Good switch. Wilson. And Jalen Wilson gets fouled. Back at the other end, Marquise Noel. The there. steal, and here he comes. Yeah, why, I'm gonna want, we're going to show two looks at this. Watch DeWan Harris reach for the steal, and watch Noel just lift the ball just a little bit in order to get by that 6'6 wingspan. By the way, out of a timeout, downhill drive. Yep. Running game. Wilson to tie it.
Jalen Wilson with 30. It's three off his career high. Under a minute to go, tight at 72. There's a really good chance with a stop that Kansas will get the last possession. Johnson inside. Rolls off. Tip wouldn't go. Johnson the rebound. Noel for the lead. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Here we go. Now they should wow. take a peek at this. They probably got it. To his defense. I said early, John. We've seen it so many times, so many years. Kansas is built for this. So it'll be in the hands of Jawan Harris. Let's see if they try and find Jalen Wilson. Clock at 10. Oh, Tomlin got his hands on it. Johnson up ahead. No call, wow. And no call. Oh, boy, we're going to play some more hoops. And this one's going to overtime. And K-State this close. It's your face. And the point was, this is college basketball. We love coaching these guys. Let's embrace this. And we're going to embrace five more minutes. Fix your face, Freddy. I'm going to remember that all year, John. Oh, my gosh. Tomlin wins the tip. Noel and Kansas State have control. Kansas without Adams and McCuller, who have both fouled out. Noel trying to turn the corner as they move the ball nicely. Sills. And they get the block on Grady Dick, even though Edgefor rejected it cleanly third on Grady Dick great great ball movement and Desi Sills has had a terrific night just attacking the basket he's hit a, he's hit a three but he is a downhill driver and John this is the ultimate what we talked about jump shots not going get to the hole Sills rattles it home <laughs> Edge of four sits and Clements checking back in. Sills two free throws and K-State has the lead. Remember now, Noel's got four. He's got to be judicious with his defense. Wilson with Johnson on him. Shot clock under 10. Clements inside. And he puts it home. Good catch by Zach Clements. Coming off the bench late. They got an open court. Uh, Jerome Tang is... Yeah, frustrated because... They stopped the play. And they had numbers. Yes, and by rule now, the officials will disagree with me. But when the offensive team has the ball away from an injured player, you don't have to stop the clock unless the injured player is in harm's way. Let's watch now. There's the basket. Okay? Jalen Wilson falls. He's limping. The ball's in and in. I could be wrong, John, but I don't think they're supposed to stop that. Only when a player is in harm's way, and I think Jerome Tang has an argument. Yeah, there. he was high-stepping. Could not believe it. Tied at 74. Nice pass. Johnson finding Tomlin, and Tomlin gets fouled. Naquan Tomlin, part of the group of New Yorkers on this K-State team with Noel and Tyke Green. And, of course, Ish Basud. Let's keep in mind, John, Kansas is 4-1. and one. Five games. Four of them have gone down to the final possession. Big free throw. Tomlin able to knock it down. It's a one-point Kansas State advantage. And they lead it by...
by two. Jalen Wilson leading all scores with 30. Let's see if that leg is all right for him. He's got it on the left side, drives right at the basket. How good is he? And one. How good wow. is he? Everybody in Bramlage Coliseum knows that he is going to drive to an open post with his right hand. Take a look. By design, this is not an accident. Bill Self did this with Josh Jackson, with Andrew Wiggins, with Ochai Abaji. But when I said to start the game, John, that Bill Self is good for three to five baskets a game, that's exactly what I mean right there. Wilson has matched his career high with 33, and he's giving Kansas the lead. Sills back to the other end, gets a piece of the paint. K-State led by as many as 14 in this one. Noel, kick out, good hands, Grady Dick. Seven on the shot clock, Kansas State basketball. That's a good, I, I, you know, I'm surprised you, there it is. That's a good timeout right there. That's why you save your timeouts. Timeout of the court, 326 to go. Here in over. Plenty of time, but it's got to come in cleanly. Seven on the shot clock. Kansas by a point. They get it to Johnson. Bill Self shouting, help him. Kick out Sills. And a foul on the floor. And they get Grady Dick. And that's his fourth. Good recognition by Johnson. They were kind of, we call it digging. It's not a double team. They were all digging on the post. He recognized the kick out. Of course, Sills has been tremendous tonight at driving those closeouts. Just heard Bill Self say it. He One. said to Grady Dick, you take five, meaning Carter. Cam Carter yep. and Dewan Harris. The next time they go down at this end, he'll have Sills. K-State with a one-point lead. And the crowd back at it. Brady Dick, catch and shoot. And a rebound, Noel. Kansas State with the ball, up by a point. Grady Dick, just one for eight from three. And Kansas as a team, five for 26. Noel weaving. Carter hangs, can't hit. Noel's got four, so he, again, he's got to be careful. Wilson, that's a three. Oh! 36 for Jalen Wilson, and they're up by two. A new career high for him. Vintage. Never a moment he will not take the big shot for this team. Never. Clements popped out on Tomlin, and now Sills. Sills inside, shot wouldn't go. Loose ball, Tomlin has it. He threw it away. He thought he was throwing it to Noel, and he threw it right to Harris. Wilson. And Johnson pulls down the rebound. Keontae Johnson with the board. Johnson inside, draws the foul. Let's see who it's on. I think it's on Grady Dick. He never got back in front. Again, Johnson playing downhill in transition. Defense not set. And this crowd will say bye-bye to Grady. Johnson gets the first. You know, I've, I've heard UB Brown say this. In the NBA, not every star wants to take the big shot. And... In this case, with this kid, that's not been a problem this season.
K State calls time. 80 apiece. 91 seconds to go in this one here in over. Job opened up that Jerome Tang would be a perfect candidate. And obviously, they made a great choice in TJ Otzelberger. Credit Gene Taylor in Kansas State for making this hire. Under 90 seconds to go. The ball in Bobby Pettiford's hands. Wilson. Left hand and he's fouled. I, I, I gotta tell you, they got that on Tomlin. I have to tell you this I don't understand why Naquan Tomlin and anybody else guarding Jalen Wilson will even let him get to his right hand when he catches the ball on the perimeter. You this game, by the way, has featured 48 fouls and 63 free throw attempts. Here's number 64, Wilson. For the lead, and he gets it. This young man committed to John Beeline at Michigan. And when John went to the NBA, he jumped on his favorite team that he followed when he was a kid. He's got 38 points. And the kid from Debt, Texas, putting on quite a show here tonight. Again, you've got to drive it downhill unless you get a wide open three. And you know Marquise's Noel is due. Watch out! Almost got it. He committed a foul. Oh, I thought he had a steal. Almost. That'll be number two on Wilson. And Noel threw the one-hand pass, and you see him reach across the top, and he almost had it. But that was a very lackluster pass by Marquise. How fun is this? Yeah, it's been great. Keontae Johnson at the line. He's perfect. Seven out of seven. Well, both teams have been jinxed tonight. You're so mean. Oh, my gosh. All right. One point game, 106 to go. What are the odds are that Jalen Wilson's going to have the ball? Pretty good. <laughs> Sills on Wilson. Shot clock is under 10. Wilson has the ball. Not going to count. Oh, uh, Jalen Wilson. Wilson. All time. And a big smile from <laughs> Jalen Wilson. He hit the shot as Bill Self was calling timeout. So oh, it's 42 2 on the game clock, 5 on the shot clock. Pettiford to inbound. Pettiford looking for help. Finds Wilson. Step back. I would push it, but Joe Tank says no. Timeout. Timeout, Kansas State. What was good about that, John, is Kansas got everybody back quickly on the miss, and there really wasn't any room to attack. And Jerome Tang recognized it. He's going to use one of those two timeouts he's got. He said, you know, is it easier because you have an older team, and they are older. He said old, but the right guys. Yep. Said he can put his head on the pillow at night with these guys. Here's Noel. Mob. They go lob. Johnson. Yeah! The throw down. Oh, boy. All right. Now it's Kansas' turn. They got a mismatch inside. Got to see it. They still have it. And Bill Self's going to take the timeout. 11.7 to go. Well, you How about an alley-oop yes. jump? Great pass. Well, you know that Johnson's going to be denied on the wing. Pettiford to inbound. Sills is on Wilson. Harris. Harris lost the handle. And it's over.